red flags, folks, but let's hear it for our good friend, the truck driver Dave from Queensland, Cedar Grove. And uh, here we come with another old school special, Sean. In the WB, an old favourite, Derek Hubbard from Kangaroo Flat, the Victorian. Let's hear, Let's hear for Derek, Derek Hubbard from Kangaroo Flat.
Coming up, entrant number eight, Lexi Phillips from Cessnock, New South Wales. Let's hear it for sexy Lexi. In the SS. Number 10, Mark Wilson from McLaren Flat in South Australia. This guy's got some fans out there as well in the Holden SS. All right, he didn't want to tell me live on the mic, but he's telling me he's going to smoke it up in the end if he gets a good enough crowd reaction. <laughs> Them the Them words the we words want to hear, Sean. Sean. Okay, no worries. Well, listen, Hightower, that's his nickname, folks. He's got the road hammer on the sideline. Let's see, he's just got a tough, 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 tough job to beat up that last one. one. Listen, well, Hightower, 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 Hightower,
Trent Patterson of Warrington in New South Wales. He's a bit softly spoken, Sean. Yeah, he was. Uh, some of the drivers are very, very shy on the microphone, but the fact that they get their you down in the centre hand. Count. You can get your blue singlets over at the Denny Ute Muster merchandise shop. As we welcome our next competitor, number 13. Number 13 is Clayton Elliott, known as Putty to his mates. All right, it's up to you. We haven't seen Fords doing much here this morning, mate. So let's hear it for Ford lovers. Next up, we've got competitor number 14, which is Brad Smith from Aberdeen. Aberdeen in New South Wales, up against his missus. Yeah, Brad, Brad Smith, right. Aberdeen. He sounds like a lover, not a fighter, Sean. Oh, I, didn't quite, I didn't quite hear that, Jeff. Ah, oh, well, we're calling the rattle. It's not easy to a rattle. Yeah, certainly are. One of the ladies' favourites now. He's a stag, isn't he? 2010 winner, 2012 winner in Tamworth. So he's got some trophies. Certainly getting around, uh, making a nice note, getting good use for the arena. Nice little burnout, folks. Let's keep him there. So 
and they got a nice note as well. But this guy knows how to get the youth around this arena. Winner of Tenworth, folks, and uh, winner back here in 2010. Entry number 15, Dave from Sebel in Victoria in the Ford XH Red Belly Black Ute. And he's partnered up with his mate. Now, it took me a while to work out what you were saying when you said you're going to lift up that old green chariot and get a bit of smoke out of it. What about yourself? Were you going to give it a little bit today, Dave? I don't know. I don't know how Julia Gillard gets the back first. <laughs> well, mate, that's great that you come prepared. The crowd's loving that. You've got them on side already. Let's give that uh, Ford a little bit of a workout, the Red Belly Black Ute. from Marie from uh, Baringa in Victoria for all the ladies when you're ready Marie let's do your stuff you just type in Denny circle work mate and all come come
Coming out next, we've got entrant 17, Mark Rudog Nickel from Blandford in New South Wales in the VR Commodore. Miss Revhead Amanda Nash from Aberdeen, New South Wales in the VS Commodore. Hi Amanda, did you have a good night last night? Ah uh, yeah, it was really good fun. That's great, can we call you Mandy? Uh, Mouse is usually my nickname. But... Mouse, where does that come from? Uh, just because I'm usually short and quiet, but uh, not today. Okay, well we want to see you loud and proud out here today to the women proud, okay? Let's hear it for Mouse, Amanda Nash from Aberdeen, New South Wales. Amanda 
Nash, Nash from Aberdeen, New South Wales. What a great effort by the ladies here this morning, I've got to say. They've uh, ramped it up again, another year. We might have a seat with the girls into the final here today. John Dent from North Richmond on the outskirts of Sydney. Entrant number 22, this is Benny from, what's that town? Jeff in Queensland. Oh, we'll ask Benny. Oh, really, eh? Just go out and go for it, eh? Yeah, give it a red hot go. All right, buddy, we want to see a red hot go. That's exactly what we want to see. Maybe some burning rubber out there. Got the uh, low profiles on. Benny from Calliope in central Queensland. 18 hours to get in. Don't worry about the temperature gauge. That was the call from the crowd. That's a true one. That was Benny Ginrith from Calliope. Okay, next competitor is entrant 23. This is Paul Bugsy. He's uh, in the Falcon XH, he's from Victoria. This is a fellow that can't hear, he can only see you. So you've got to wave to him if you want so to support him and make make the noise. So we're all here, but uh, give him a wave. Paul is hearing impaired, folks. So an amazing effort, he comes out here. So he can't hear you when you're cheering, he needs to see your hands in the air, okay? So you can still make plenty of noise, but put your hands up in the air if you're loving Paul in the Falcon. Fucking 
the next fight. Let's get going with it. Keep our shoes up. Keep the window down. Let's go. He's settling on the game. He's going to get on the Bit of a tease. But the good thing he did do there was uh, just get himself the post, get back this bust. Look how he's going to be able to start out. Got to come back strong, don't you? What's in the stall at the start? The Ivy Strip, the Buffalo's most wants to do this. And he said he probably wanted to pop pies. Quite the unquote. Central West, New South Wales. Oh, hang on. Airbags, he's going up, folks. Oh, 
Paula Miller in Queensland in the high score. Entrant number 27, Rowan McClung from Gunnedah. Entrant number 29, come third in the Tamworth, Jason Sl Stanley from Kula in New South Wales in the VE. Hey Jason, how you going buddy? Oh uh, yeah, pretty pretty happy, you know. That's that's good mate, third at Tamworth, be nice to get in the top three today. Oh, I hope so, I hope so. Yeah, well let's see how you go buddy, it's good to see you here again today. Jason Stanley from Kula in New South Wales.
get the All the fans, we love a The only way to drive those VESSB Commodores. Michael Beckins, he looks nice and relaxed in there, folks. And uh, we might see some rubber burn here as well from Emerald in Victoria. As we've got entrant 31, Tim Kemp from Dandenong in Victoria in the Holden HJ. Okay, Tim's asking if he makes the top three, can he go in town and grab some new tyres if he lays these ones down to the rim? What do you reckon, folks? I think that's a yes, Tim. So you'll have to do it pretty quick, mate. You'll have to see how you go. But, uh, mate, she fared up all right after yesterday. Yep, it's all good. Um, I'm itching to get out there. It's so much fun just, just cutting loose. It's beautiful. Now, listen, at the start yesterday, something went pop and we stopped and we went, oh, but then uh, you came back with a vengeance. What happened, do you know? Yeah, the uh, lead from the distributor popped right out of there. Done a bit of talk there and just ripped the lead out. So plug it back in, off we went. Mate, it looked great too, and you went down to the rims. It was great. Let's hear it for Tim Kim from Dandenong in Victoria to HJ. 75, Mike Tunner.
He loves it. Oh, we love the old school cars too. Put a bit the paint job. Thousand dollars a litre for paint. To come out here. It looks nice with the Denny dust on it anyway. It certainly does. So the judges will have a bit of a bit of tight judging.
Let's hear it from the ball. Oh, Ray representing Victoria. The new color from Ruby. On the board. And we're very close to announcing the winner of the GME National Circuit Work Championships with third place, Jeff, with 59 points. Was car number 25, the Ford Adam Lennery in third place on 59 points. Second place, which is obviously going to give us the winner as well in this. Entrant number seven, Jack, with 66 points, in the representing Commodore. Holden. And there's our winner as well. Four cylinders taken out, the Australian GME National Circuit World Champion, Bob Warner from Albury. The winner in 2012, and David Dodd from GME to present these great trophies.